Hey, what's up guys, it's Tip. Of all the unique features in vanilla, one in particular remains an enigma to modern and veteran players alike, vanilla PvP. Vanilla WoW PvP was never really understood during its time, and as a result, a number of myths and misconceptions about vanilla PvP have arisen. Seeing as the classic PvP summit is just around the corner, I figured I would take the time today to dispel some of the most common and pernicious myths I've heard about vanilla PvP. Myth number one, vanilla PvP had a low skill cap. There's a giant misconception in the community that vanilla WoW PvP required little to no skill. This myth has become so commonplace that many players, including those who've never experienced vanilla, seem eager to pass it along as fact. But where does this myth come from, and why do most people seem to buy into it? The origins of vanilla's low skill cap myth trace back to the renaissance of WoW's most popular content category, PvP videos. If you open up any of the original vanilla PvP montages, you'll instantly notice a wide array of backpedaling, clicking, and one-shot clips. This doesn't exactly scream high-skill gameplay. But what if I told you that these volumes of vanilla PvP footage were entirely irrelevant? After all, the vast majority of PvP montages are carefully selected highlights that oftentimes take months to collect. It doesn't take a genius to see that these videos shouldn't be used as evidence. The truth is, none of the original vanilla PvP videos are an accurate representation of what the vanilla PvP skill cap was actually like. But more importantly, none of those videos are indicative of how high the PvP skill cap has become. Back in 2005, video game theory crafting was not nearly as pronounced as it is today. As a result, much of what we know about vanilla PvP came after the fact. Perhaps the most significant of these post-vanilla revelations is our current understanding of supplemental PvP items. Items such as grenades, reflection trinkets, and sapper charges are now universally understood to be vital in player versus player scenarios. With literally hundreds of these supplemental tools available in the game, skill capping in vanilla PvP has become almost impossible. You see, back in 2005, very few players understood what made an item powerful. Because of this limited understanding, vanilla PvP's skill potential was never fully realized until the modern era. Actually, even today, we still have a long way to go. The point is that when you take into account all of the different situational gear that can be used in BGs, skill cap just goes through the roof. If you want to see what I'm talking about, I can only refer you to my boy Perplexity's videos. Those should give you an idea of just how much skill is actually required in vanilla PvP. Believe me, it's super competitive. Which brings me to myth number two. Myth number two, vanilla PvP is not competitive, it's just a time sink. This myth is usually stated in the context of ranking. Because vanilla rank gear never acquired an MMR threshold, most people think that vanilla PvP ranking was just a non-competitive time sink. Here's the crazy part about this myth. Back in 2005, it was probably true. Rather than compete over weekly rank positions, most rankers back in the day took the easy way out. They cooperated with other pre-maids to monopolize the ranking system. This meant that pre-made coalition groups could take turns passing down High Warlord and Grand Marshal titles to their friends so long as the friends ran battlegrounds for 12 hours a day. Not exactly the definition of competitive. But things have changed in recent years. As theorycrafting has progressed, so has our understanding of vanilla PvP gear. We now know that some pieces of epic rank gear are incredibly valuable in raiding, and as a result, serious progression guilds are no longer willing to wait their turn in line. Let me give you an example. The rank 14 one-handed weapons are best in slot for PvE warriors up until Naxxramas. This means that for potentially a year and a half, these weapons are irreplaceable for Fury Warriors. Because of how strong certain rank gear is in the PvE scene, top-end raiding guilds simply can't afford to pass along rank 14 gear to their competitors. The days of win trading in BGs are pretty much over. The epic PvP gear is just too good to wait for, and as a result, guilds today are fighting tooth and nail to make sure their pre-mades win every possible match. 
More wins means more honor, and having the players with the most honor each week means more rank 14 gear and more overall raid DPS. It's pretty crazy how things have changed the last couple of years. The balance of power in the game seems to have shifted back to the PvP players. And speaking of balance, it's time to discuss one of the biggest myths in all of vanilla PvP. Myth number three, vanilla PvP is grossly imbalanced. This is probably the most pervasive myth I've ever read about vanilla. The truth is, vanilla PvP is far more balanced than most people realize. Because of the sheer quantity of engineering items, unique trinkets, consumables, resistance gear, and itemization choices that players have in vanilla, player skill is vastly more important than class abilities. In a vanilla duel, any class is perfectly capable of beating any other class so long as the player uses supplemental gadgets correctly. Let me give you an example. If you asked most people about balanced druids in vanilla, they'd probably tell you that they're the weakest spec in the game. Well, here's a clip of my friend Stormax playing a balanced druid. Even though he's matched up against a warlock, one of the quote strongest classes in the game, he still wins. That's because Storm is not only a great player, but he also takes advantage of all of the nifty tools in vanilla, like the shadow reflector trinket. These tools and consumables help make up the natural gap in power between certain classes and change the game from a rock-paper-scissors match to a chess match. While it's true that on the base level some classes are more powerful than others in vanilla, the availability of these supplemental tools help make up the difference. In vanilla, the best player wins the duel, not the best class. No, no, no. I think, I think the PvP in vanilla is like the most... I think 1.12 is arguably one of the most balanced patches in in uh in all of wow at least in my experience like i don't know maybe it's i'm biased because i play a paladin but i feel like i can beat anybody and anybody can beat me the imbalance myth is just one of many myths surrounding the original world of warcraft that's why we decided to create the classic pvp summit event on july 28th and 29th i'll be joined by some of the best vanilla pvpers in the world to help educate prospective classic players on all things vanilla pvp and to help dispel some of the myths like we did today the summit will be premiered on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash tips out baby if you'd like to learn more about the event you can check out the classic pvp summit announcement trailer video i've left the link in the description for you believe me guys of all of the classic events and shows that i host this is the one that you don't want to miss but thanks for watching the video guys if you liked what you saw sub it up and stick around because we got more coming a big shout out to all of my patrons you guys make these videos possible if you'd like to support the channel yourself links are in the description below i stream almost every day of the week with the occasional saturday stream as well hope to see you on twitch have a wonderful day fellas and as always tips out baby